So you can play this one of two ways. What am I stopped? You can step outside the vehicle, or we drag you outside the vehicle. If you if you damage my property or try to, mm -hmm. there will be a fight on the side of the road because then you are unlawfully trying to attack me. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we head to what I believe is Lancaster, Ohio, where a sovereign citizen gets pulled over and threatens to fight the police if they try to remove him from the vehicle. Unfortunately for him, Ohio police do not mess around with soft sits, so they accept his challenge, which involves a window removal and what seems like an ocean of pepper spray. Right, let's get into the video. Name and badge number, sir? Name and badge number. I'm not a sovereign citizen. I'm a free human that lives on Earth. Are you a human being? Are you a human being? And I too would ignore you if you asked me stupid questions like that. Well, they seem human enough to me. You, however, I think that's debatable. That's true. No! That Don't roll it. Open. Don't roll it now. Over here. Over here. Over here. That window's down. Over here. Over here. That one don't work. You can always tell when a sovereign citizen is lying. His lips move. Perfect example, in one breath he tells his passenger not to roll down the window, then in the next breath he tells the police the window doesn't roll down. And that's before we even get to anything related to the law. So, name and badge number. What's your name, sir? Name and badge number, sir, for the record. Sergeant Chris Walker, badge number 276. Alright, Chris Walker 276. Yep. Alright. Alright, I need her driver's license. No. Yeah. Fourth Amendment constitutional right, and I'm allowed to be secure in my personal papers and effects. Okay. So is she. We're not giving you anything. My Fifth Amendment constitutional right is to be... I need you to exit the vehicle. No. Pennsylvania versus MIMS says that you need to exit the vehicle. It's an unlawfully stop motor vehicle. So, you can play this one of two ways. What am I stopped? You can step outside the vehicle, or we drag you outside the vehicle. Now that is how you deal with a soft sit. Never get bogged down in a debate at the side of the road. The place for that is in the courtroom. Just give them the lawful order and cite the relevant case law, which in this case is Pennsylvania versus MIMS, which debunks his Fourth Amendment violation claim. But this guy is not going to listen to this because, well, he thinks he knows best. So he responds with whatever incoherent gibberish this is. Murdoch, Pennsylvania, that shutters. I don't want Pennsylvania man's with me. No, you cannot. Yes. If you if you damage my property or try to, mm -hmm. there will be a fight on the side of the road because then you are unlawfully trying to attack me. Well, I cannot wait to see how that statement comes back to bite him in the backside shortly. Though credit to him for admitting in advance that he is planning on resisting arrest. It gives the police a chance to formulate a plan of arrest. Idiot. I'm not trying to do anything. Okay. Do you know what a 1983 is? A 1983 what? USCC 1983. Yeah, that, that's... I can sue you. Okay? I have all the... I, I'm I, I, I'm a constitutional law scholar. I'm into all this. I'm sorry, but even YouTube is not big enough for two self-appointed constitutional law scholars. We already have one delusional clown running around screaming nonsense at cops and misinterpreting case law. We do not need another one. Watch your back, Chili. You might just have competition here. You should sue him for trying to out-stupid you. I'm a sheriff deputy, right? Do you not understand that you uphold a... You, you took an oath, right? You that Did you take an oath? Did you take an oath? Are you going to allow me to speak, sir? I, I want you to answer my question. Did you take an oath? Yes, I did. I take an what oath. was that oath? During which time? To uphold the Constitution. During my military service or during my law enforcement? Either one. Both. To nice casual flex there thrown in by the deputy about how many oaths he's taken. I wonder how many this idiot has taken in his life. My guess would be a big fat zero.
Of course, if this guy was really interested in the Constitution, then he would know about the Tenth Amendment. You know, that amendment that gives the deputy the authority to do what he's doing right now. So you're supposed to uphold the Constitution okay. and the rights of us public citizens. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And the United States Supreme Court has also said that when a vehicle is lawfully stopped for a motor vehicle infraction, the officer has a right to ask all occupants from the motor vehicle to step outside. This is not a motor vehicle. Yes, it is. No, it's not. This is household goods, private property. Okay. According and that's under, that's under uh, constitutional law, too. It's deemed. I have Supreme Court cases if you want to look at them. Really? That says this is household goods, private property. Huh? Oh, well, if it's deemed, then that's okay. Then why didn't you just say so at the beginning of the stop? That clears everything up. On your way, sir, I'm really sorry to have bothered you tonight. Of course, back here in reality, the Supreme Court has never made such a ruling. If they had, then lawyers everywhere would be taking advantage of it. And somebody would have sent me one by now after five or six years. Does one of them include Pennsylvania versus Mims? Yes. Does it? Okay. Well, get it out so you can read it and understand it. I don't have the Pennsylvania versus Mims with me this time. I thought you just did. Why are you looking in the back window? Yeah, I wonder why the deputy, who is aware of the driver's intention to be violent if arrested, through his own admission, is looking into the car and watching the driver as he rummages around in the vehicle. Yeah, it's a complete mystery to me too. I don't have that one with me right now. And there's uh, Shuttersworth versus Birmingham. That window don't work. Hey, stop trying to damage my property. Do you not understand what USCC 241 is or 242? Do you not understand what USC 241 is? You guys are on. Can you make contact with me on the other side? That window don't work. That window don't work. That window don't work. That window don't work. Are you not listening to me? That window does not work, and she is not getting out of her vehicle. We are allowed to be securing her person, papers, and effects by the Fourth Amendment constitutional right. Again, Pennsylvania versus Mims disagrees. Do you not understand that? You took an oath to uphold and protect. Now, in 242, you're working under outside of color of law. Hey! Quit. Stop you. banging on my f***ing window! Don't damage... No, you're not. Damage to my mode of transportation. My public goods. My home goods. Stop! Stop what you're doing! Do I need to give him my driver's No. That's the first sensible sentence to come out of either one of their mouths during this whole stop, and he immediately cuts her down with a stern no. Her instinct was to do the right thing and hand over the licence. It's sad that she's so close to realising how insane this all is, but then Dumbo here tells her no. Don't listen to the deputy tapping on the glass with a baton. No, listen to the insane ramblings of an unstable man sat next to me. Unbelievable. Quit. No! I do not have to give you any ID. I don't feel safe with you. I am not safe. If you break my window, we're going to be fucking fighting. Because you're causing damage, harm to my property. Do you understand me? I said that window don't work. Come over here. You can speak to us over here. You can speak to her over here. Quit damaging my window. 242. Read that. Read that. Read that. Do you not understand you're working outside the color of law? And do you not understand that screaming incoherently about things you know nothing about after threatening violence if the police try to arrest you makes you look really, really dumb? Well, obviously not. Read that! 
What the f is wrong with you guys? Are you guys this f serious? Yeah, we're very Do you not know this sits on YouTube live? You guys are live stream looking like f clowns. Oh, the irony of a sovereign citizen calling someone else a clown is too much to bear. You're banging on citizens' windows for no reason. Hey, I need his supervisor. Whoever that guy is banging on window, I want his supervisor. I don't work with him. I don't give a I want his supervisor. Because you're going to be attached to the lawsuit. Okay, okay Chili De Karen, calm down. Yeah, it's okay until I take your pension, your bank account, and your house. What is this? Down spike strips. Spike strips. You know they mean business when the spike strips come out. Watch my last video to see how well it works out for them. These two are too stupid to realise what this means, of course. Walker. I mean, that's all you had to ask for. It's that easy, bud. I'm not trying to harm you guys. Says the guy who threatened violence on the streets if they tried to arrest him. Look at this tyrant ass cop back here. He's got his little gun, about to shoot up my truck. Shoved it out the window. Do you see what it, what what these people are doing to us right now? They want to just uh, invade our space. They are. Oh my days, this is or should be just a simple traffic stop, no more, no less. Stop with the persecution complex, you did all this, you turned this into a circus by threatening violence if arrested. They don't understand they're working outside the color of law. UCC 1942 right here says they're working outside the color of law. It says... Who under color of law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom will willfully subjects any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district of the depress deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities can secured by protected by the constitutional rights. I was originally going to cut this part out, but listening to him stutter and slur his way through something he doesn't understand is nearly as entertaining as the upcoming arrest. Walk over here! You guys don't understand what you're doing. Now that's rich coming from a sovereign citizen. One, two, That's because they're going to try to kill us. They're going to try to kill us. What's your name and badge number? Genuine question. How do people like this make it to adulthood? Your name and badge number. Name and badge number. I can hear you. What's your name and badge number? I can hear you. Look at this shit, you guys. You on YouTube, Chubba? I'm just recording on my phone. I'm going to post it. Put it on YouTube Live. Get on YouTube Live right now. Okay. Hey, don't be hitting my truck. I can't. You got any other weapons in that car? I don't answer questions. Hey, you're impeding my First Amendment right. Turn that f***ing light out. You're not allowed to distort my camera. Somebody's been watching too many frauditors on YouTube, I see. I think you've got bigger issues at the moment, dude. I would turn around. You're destroying hey! private property. Hey, stop that. That was him right there. That was him. Hey, stop. What are you doing? That was down. Hey! And that what are you Step doing? Out. Step out. What are you doing? The rest of the vehicle what now. are you Step doing? Badge number. Name and badge number. Name and badge number. Step out now. No. Name and badge number. 
Step out. You're going to run out of Maybe air. Maybe that's number. You see what they're doing to us? This is on YouTube Live. These guys are breaking our window and harassing them. They're trying to kidnap us. They're trying to kidnap us. Watch. Exit the vehicle now. They're trying to kidnap us. They're going to kill us. Hey, let go of my wife, bro. Stay over there. Keep your hands up. Stay right there. I ain't doing either. You're get it. I'm and there we have it. I honestly didn't think sovereign citizens could get any dumber, but here they are proving me wrong. The OC spray and flashlight on and off technique used by the cop to disorient everyone in the car worked a treat. He didn't have the time or the use of his eyes to go through with his threat of fighting his arrest. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. Right, take care all and I will catch you in the next video.